The new RetroTech DM32 really is a smart gauge. This digital touchscreen gauge has multiple pressure ports for two independent measurement channels. The DM32 also has the ability to control multiple devices from different manufacturers while performing calculations to display results for any test in any metric for any standard worldwide. This gauge is quite versatile and works with both RetroTech and Energy Conservatory devices, such as RetroTech or Minneapolis blower door, RetroTech or Minneapolis duct testers, exhaust fan flow meter, pressure pan, and the true flow meter. There are other brands of manometers on the market, but for this video, we are going to focus only on this particular device. It is important that your gauge be clean, free of defects, and has been calibrated within the last five years. It is also advised that you update the firmware when new versions are made available by Retrotech. Understanding the full potential of your DM32 will allow you to get the most out of building diagnostics in the field because this gauge has the ability to be used for pressurization, depressurization, zonal pressure diagnostics, pressure pan testing, exhaust fan flow measurements, measuring system airflow, room-to-room -room pressure testing, and combustion safety testing. Before we delve into the proper gauge use, we will first look at the physical connections available. There are seven connection ports on the DM32. On the top, there are four color-coded tubing ports, two for channel A and two for channel B. Additionally, there is an ethernet port for fan speed control. On the bottom of the gauge, there is one ethernet port for connecting to a computer for software applications and a mini USB port to both charge the battery and to perform firmware updates and other internet functions. Now that we are aware of the physical connections available, we will move on to some of the more common screen displays you will encounter. Please remember that similar to your smartphone, in the future, new firmware updates will continue to improve the visual look and functionality of the DM32. When the device is powered on, it defaults to the main home screen, which is broken up into five rows. The content of these rows may vary depending on the functions you are using. The top row displays a number of pieces of information, including fan speed percentage, time average of the display output, Wi-Fi settings, and battery power. In the settings menu, time average can be adjusted to any duration you desire up to 120 seconds. In the second row, channel A output is represented in addition to an at symbol that may or may not appear depending on the test being performed. When the at symbol appears, a slash through the symbol means that the channel B output display is for the current pressure of channel A. If there is no slash through the at symbol, then the channel B output is for your desired pressure. For example, CFM at 50. You can alternate this output by pressing the at icon. Pressing the number output on the far right will pause the display to allow for documentation in the field. The third row displays a range of items and options. The test device currently in use is represented by the icon on the far left. Pressing this image allows you to change devices and ring configurations. The numbers on the right side represent the output from channel B. Tapping these numbers allows access to a range of unit options. Ensure that you have selected the right display result for the test you are performing. The fourth row will vary for the test being performed and the current point in that test. Area or volume values appear here if they're necessary for proper calculations. Set pressure and set speed are available as a means to control a fan. When a test begins, these icons change to allow speed or pressure to be increased, decreased, or to stop the test altogether. Finally, the bottom row also varies as tests differ. Current test information is displayed on the left-hand side of the screen. For example, when you have set the gauge to control to a pressure, the pressure being sought will be displayed. The Settings button grants access to Smart Gauge advanced features and options. The base model of this gauge is quite versatile, but the Wi-Fi version of the DM32 Smart Gauge has the ability to connect with your iOS, Android, or Windows device. Once your preferred mobile device and smart gauge are connected via the Wi-Fi, you can control the DM32 and any connected test equipment. 
you do not need an external Wi-Fi router as the smart gauge creates its own Wi-Fi network. Keep in mind that once your mobile device is linked, the touchscreen of the DM32 is locked until the Wi-Fi connection is terminated. The new RetroTech DM32 really is a smart gauge. Not only is it versatile enough for all of today's testing standards, its ability to be updated over time make it a great choice for any future testing situation you might ever encounter.